I'd like to have a look at the music. Wood Indian Dance, which is taken from Piano Time and Pauline Hall. It's Piano Time 1. <clears throat> so this is Indian Dance. It's um, a piece of music which is starts off quite loud. So we've got the forte, which is the F, and we've got the P, which is in the second section, um, which is quiet, and then the crescendo, which means we get louder, and then again, low, um, ending quite loud in the last four bars. I don't know if you can see which um, which key it's in, but easy to work that one out because you've got a nice B flat there on the on the second uh, third line down, or it could be the third third line up because it's right in the middle. So that's a B flat, and so we're in the key of F major. <clears throat> so I would like to look first of all at the rhythm. Um, first of all, we've we know that there's four beats in the bar because it tells us this here. So there are four crotchet beats. They're all even crotchet beats. But let's look at the rhythm. So in the first bar, we have a crotchet, crotchet, two quavers, and then another crotchet. So if we were to look at our um, rhythm charts, our rhythm sheets, that's what the first bar would look like. So it's do, sorry, do, 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 do. So cup along with me. One, two, three, and four. So we set that to a time. We could set that to, um, let's say, 90, oh, 94, 90, 96. Let's do 96. So two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, ba, ba, bum. So that's clapping that rhythm just for the first two bars because it, it repeats it in the second bar. Actually, if you look further on in the music, you can see that rhythm coming back again. If you can point to those, those where, where would they be? Um, I think five and six, um, definitely. Uh, and further on in the piece of music, so where it gets quieter and again where it gets louder. So it's always actually where the, yeah, almost always, where it's the, the change in um, dynamics, so whether it's going to be louder or softer. So that's the first two bars. <clears throat> and then the third bar is made up of two minims. Can you see that there? So it's two minim beats. Bom, bom. So it's one, two, three, four. So that's what we're going to clap next. So let's put that up on the on the stand there. So looking at bar three. So we've got do, do, and so one, two, three, four. Let's play that with the metronome again on uh, 96. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Holding for two. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four. <clears throat> so now our first three bars uh, take us up to the next. So the next bar, which is the fourth bar, has two crotchets and a minim. So that looks like this sheet. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. So. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Holding that minimum for two beats again. Although, you, of course, your pulse is continually going through. So, one, two, three, four. So, let's play that now with the metronome. We're going to clap it uh, again on 96. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. Hope that went okay with you. And so, not, what I'd like to do now is to clap that pulse. Um, sorry, clap the timing all the way from the first bar to the fourth bar. <clears throat> and this is what it's going to look like. So, the first one um, we repeat. Oh, lost my sheet. There we go. So that first one we play twice. 
And then we play the minims, do, do, and then we play the two crotchets and the minim. So I just move that along and hope it doesn't fall off the end, which I think it might do. Oh no, I think that's okay. Hopefully you can see that on my on my stand. So one, uh, two, three, four. I demonstrate one, two, three, four. Bam, bam, and repeat one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's clap. If you'd like to clap with me, so remember to to repeat this one once. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That takes us up to the first four bars um, of music. I think we should play that now on the on the piano, and we will actually take it from the music of Indian dance. So let's pop all those away a second, and then see if we can play those first four bars. <clears throat> okay. So let, we can set that to a metronome beat. So let's play it without first of all, and then we'll add in the metronome afterwards. So we're looking around about 96. That's one, two, three, four. One, two. and we can't quite fit all of those notes in, particularly those quavers, then it might be an idea to slow it down a little bit, just so that you get that, the, the rhythm and the pulse and the, the tempo. Um, as you see, we can always slow it down. Um, we can, if we play it slower and then once we get a little bit more comfortable with it, we can then speed it back up again. So let's set our metronome now um, a little bit lower. So. Say I'm having problems with getting those quavers in the right place. So I'm going to slow it down to 90. So that's 90 beats in a bar. Set my metronome. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. So you have a go now yourself and just see how that gets goes on. So again, I've got my metronome set at 90. Braille means bringing the left hand. The left hand is a different, different timings on there as, a, as opposed to crotchets and quavers. It's straight minims. So you're holding those for two beats all of the time, apart from bar four and bar five, six, seven, eight, and the very last bar. Two, three. So set our metronome there again to 90, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, that's the first four bars. <clears throat> so we put that together, we've got to make sure that that right hand sings out above the accompaniment, which is our left hand. That could be, I don't know what instrument you think that could be. It's Indian, so maybe some drums. That's So our left hand is sort of perhaps our drums, keeping us nice and steady. Um, so let's try the first four bars. We'll put hands together. Um, so take a minute now just to try and work out where your, hands, your hand position is. Again, put your metronome to about 90 so that we get a nice steady pulse. Okay. So we'll count two bars in and then we'll go. One, two, three, four. 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 And that can be repeated. Um, I try that a few times just to see how you get on with that. 
and again just probably keeping your metronome to that and you don't have to have it on all the time but it does give you a sense of pulse as you start your music start playing and then looking at forward to the next four bars that rhythm now in the next four bars is exactly the same as the first four bars um, the difference comes in the melody um, it doesn't come in the actual rhythm and um, uh, timing then looking forward to the next four bars we do have a slight change and that's in the first bar of the final row of notes where it says crescendo and they change to all crotchets so it's all crotchet beats and that would be one two three four one two three four always make sure that your first beat of the the bar is always the strongest. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this time let's set that to the metronome. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's a nice study. You have um, a note, you, you clap or you play a note on every beat of that music in that bar. That's the only bar that's different um, in, the, uh, in that particular um, piece. Yes, it's only that bar that where we play the crotchets all the way through. Um, and then again, the last four bars are absolutely the same. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to play the piece all the way through. Um, and I'm going to play it at 90. And I'd like you then to play it yourself and then say, um, and then compare. I think it could be played a lot quicker because it does actually say quickly in Vivace in the, at the top there, which says it's got to be played quickly. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to do it a bit slower. But I will keep the metronome going. So then you can see whether I'm in, beat, uh, in time all the way through the piece. That will be my challenge. <laughs> okay, so I'll count two bars in. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. timing I hope it was okay um, better check me for my dynamics as well very difficult isn't it to to um, to vary the dynamics on a keyboard because of course you normally do that by the with the volume button but you can actually adjust it by the, the way that you press the notes remember always to keep your fingers nice and rounded um, which will give you uh, which gives a nice touch to the piano um, thank you <laughs>